Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new Tesla update video. So today, as usual, let's go over the market. Let's talk about what has happened. And one of the options that we talked about yesterday seems to be playing out as of right now. So we'll definitely go ahead and discuss that. I did trade it today. I did do a bit of a day trading myself. I um, made a little bit, you know, a couple hundred bucks on this. So yeah, I'll go over all that kind of stuff very quickly. And then let's just, you know, overall discuss that the market literally just closed. So Tesla ending the day at 208 and 36 cents, which is just over 3% of a move up. The market itself, of course, a little bit red, right? We have SPY down about a, a one quarter of a percent and then QQQ down about three quarters of a percent. So, ladies and gentlemen, my cat's meowing. I don't know if you can hear her. Let's talk about what does it all mean, right? So where is this going to take us? And uh, yeah, so, you know, pretty much essentially what happened today it was what we discussed yesterday, how, you know, thief, how we talked about how, you know, there's a decent chance that Tesla moves down to around the 200 level. I talked about it yesterday on the close, how, you know, there's an okay chance thief. My cat's meowing. I don't know why. Um, sorry, guys. My cat just, like, just, I don't know, just started meowing out of nowhere. Um, anyway, so, you know, we talked about how it might go down to 200. And then from there, there's, you know, pretty good chance, in my opinion, that it does bounce. And if it doesn't bounce here, then it's most likely coming down to around, you know, the mid 180s-ish, 190, right? Uh, and then most likely bouncing from there. So in this case, we did find ourselves bouncing from this area. And I did realize that there is actually a potential trend here that we're still technically in, which you can see by these two yellow lines right here. So it did actually bounce from this 200. And I said how, you know, one of the possibilities is from here going up to probably around like 210, maybe 213, something like that, somewhere around the highs of this right here is what I personally think. Um, and then from there, I think we'll uh, most likely get rejected somewhere around this level once again, and then actually finally make our way down. So again, seems like that's going to be what is playing out here. We'll of course see if that actually comes to fruition or not. But I did play the trade today. Like I said, I did buy uh, about 50 shares at 201 and I sold it uh, about 206, 207, or two, six and a half, I think is where I sold it, you know, quick little profit there. Why not? Um, but you can see like, you know, on this, like say three hour, for instance, that we're looking at right now, or we can go to the one hour, right? It's a very obvious bearish divergence, right? As you move up in the time frames, it becomes, you know, even more obvious, right? It's pretty much happening on pretty much every single time frame, as you can see right here, right? Extremely obvious, even on the daily, right? So the bearish divergence is just very much there. Now the bulls do honestly, now that I, you know, took a, 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 a I guess, a better look, in my opinion, the bulls actually still have one more shot at actually potentially still coming up to 220. I actually think there is still one more shot um, at that based on this current trend that we are in. And like, I mean, like, technically, it's a chance to come up all the way up here. I highly, 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 highly doubt it. It's probably like a 5% chance, but you know, it's technically there. But again, with the bearish divergence still just looking strong and only getting stronger, um, I do believe that, you know, ultimately, whatever happens here is still ultimately going to be a bull trap, right? There's a I still think there's a decent chance that it'll come up to around like 210, 212, maybe 213, you know, most likely get rejected and then make our way down. So something along the lines of, you know, this and then make our way down, right? And ultimately make our way down to like, you know, again, like I said, the one kind of 60-ish, right? That is kind of my main target still. I do believe, and I do believe that will happen. I'm like quite confident actually it will happen. It just might not be the most easiest thing in the world where it just goes straight down there and it's nice and simple for, for once and, you know, we can all be happy. Uh, you know, buying, let's say, for instance, but Tesla's going to always going to, you know, find a way to make it as annoying as possible to make you really just think maybe it actually won't happen. You know, maybe, maybe it actually won't go down there, right? It's going to constantly make you think these kind of things and, you know, constantly create, you know, very like powerful FOMO, essentially people are going to be buying it and, you know, investor day coming up and, you know, I don't know. So the, the thing is with investor day coming up on March, I think first it is right. You know, there's a chance that Tesla just doesn't really, you know, go down to that level until past investor day. I really do think that there's a chance that Tesla, you know, maybe drops down to like the 180s, right? Or something like that. It doesn't really go that much lower just yet. And kind of, you know, chills around this overall, um, this like right here, this like overall range right here for, you know, up until investor day. It's, it is very possible that the strength more or less remains because, you know, there's been a lot of FOMO, a lot of people buying in on the hype. Happens every single damn time. And then once the event actually happens, you know, it ends up more often than not being a solid news type of thing, which absolutely can happen. And that could be what actually finally makes us uh, kind of, you know, come down to all the way, you know, the 150, 160, something, you know, along the lines of that. That is definitely a possibility. So, you know, I wouldn't like hold my breath, essentially, I guess is what I'm saying, waiting for like, a, you know, the 150s or potentially even lower because again it probably will find it's you know sweet, take its sweet time and find the most obnoxious way to get there really and you know trapping and annoying as much people as possible while doing it so that is absolutely a possibility so just keep that in mind in the back of your head it's very important on top of that monday is of course closed right um i think it's like i'm in canada so i don't really know all the american holidays i think it's like president observance day or something like that i don't know 
But Monday is a closed day for the market. But that's essentially what I'm seeing, right? That's essentially what I'm seeing. And like I said yesterday, assuming this is still going to be the short term top, uh, which I definitely think is still absolutely possible, right? The retracement, like I said, will most likely take us down to around this 0.5 level on average, which is around the 160 level. Could be a little bit lower, could be a little bit higher, but on average, uh, is the, that's the kind of general level I would personally be looking for uh, for this retracement to take place. But like I said, guys, the main thing I'm personally looking at as of right now is the fact that the bearish divergence is just, it's just such an, it's just, man, it's, it's a beautiful looking bearish divergence in all honesty it's just it's like almost too obvious like it just you don't get a more crystal clear bearish divergence than this like this is just it's just textbook man it really is and i've said this before i remember back when i talked about things like this like something being textbook like a pattern being textbook i can't remember if it was back here or like up here or something like that and you know it did play out right and i i i I really strongly believe this is just a textbook bearish divergence, and I really strongly believe it is going to play out, right? If you just like zoom in and take a better, closer look, you can see as a stock from here is making its way up and continuously just going up, 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 up. The RSI is just going down, 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 down. Lower lows, lower highs, constantly placing in lower lows, lower highs, while the stock is constantly playing in, placing in rather higher lows, higher highs. Take that as you will. I know I've said this several times. Take it as you will, right? The market itself definitely getting a nice bit of a recovery today, which most likely helped Tesla or Tesla helped the market, which, you know, whichever way you want to look at it. Taking a look at the volume today, you can see the volume, you know, respectable volume, not too low, not too high, you know, pretty much right in the middle, I would say, which is, you know, pretty good. Nothing too concerning in my opinion over there. But ultimately, we are technically still inside this little, you know, expanding wedge if you will that we are you know currently in that you know there's a chance that we bounce one more time to the upside which i don't think will happen i just can't see it going up that high not impossible not impossible i just can't see it going up another almost 18 percent that's just insane and that would also mean that it would happen within the next like pretty much next week it just sounds pretty improbable to me but we'll see you never know with tesla but regardless like i said ultimately i do expect it to make its way down like this uh, somewhere around this general level right that is kind of what i am personally waiting for and that's kind of what i am being you know more or less patient about and i will probably most likely just kind of get some you know quick day trades maybe maybe some quick swing trades in while i'm ultimately waiting for that price target which again i'm i strongly believe will happen the vix is really having issues breaking out above honestly really above 20 right I just can't really get a can't really catch a break above 20 and 21 and something like along, along the lines of that it's just constantly getting rejected around those levels which you know you definitely as a bear at least want to see this thing really start to push you really want to see spy i mean it's a pretty nice looking candle on spy today right you know potential mini reversal candle that you know might give us a bit of like rally potential early next week that is possible which is could could be the reason behind tesla potentially coming up to like i said around 213 which from here will be another move of around um you know like two to three percent which isn't too bad right that's not too shabby around two to three percent more not too bad at all so definitely expecting tesla to rally another two to three percent wouldn't be surprised whatsoever but i do think that there's a high chance that that ends up being the top and we essentially form a head and shoulders pattern like this right here and then from there we get the ultimate projection now again the bulls what they want to see is they pretty much they really want to see 214 break again if 214 can break again then the inverted or this head and shoulder pattern essentially falls apart uh and then they potentially especially if 217 let's say breaks can really see a rally up to the 220 to 222 which if we do get there i will personally be looking to buy puts on tesla if it somehow gets there one more time which again with tesla you can never really count it out fully so i'm definitely still considering that in my head that that is still a possibility and again if we get there i will be entering puts on tesla most likely not for sure just my opinion again none of this financial advice keep that in mind ladies and gentlemen it's just all my opinion just all for fun just all fun and games nothing more nothing less um yeah but it, again and if it doesn't then that's fine with me as well you know it really just depends on what happens right really just depends what happens but if it just goes sideways then i don't want to be in bot options anyways because then you're probably just going to lose regardless if it just goes sideways especially if you're buying out of the money right so just keep that in mind but yeah that's essentially what i'm seeing ladies and gentlemen let me know what you think down below hope you have a fantastic weekend and uh yeah so far it's playing out uh, you know one of those options that we talked about yesterday and it's just a matter of you know how it decides to play it out i give you guys what i'm personally looking for the levels i'm looking for in order for it to break or not to break essentially for confirmation of certain things and yeah that's essentially the major thing that i'm just 
patiently waiting on it. And don't forget, we still have plenty of gaps down below. Uh, we still have technically a gap at 181, though I wouldn't really consider too much of a gap. We can argue we filled it right here. We have an absolutely astronomical gap at 144. We even have a gap all the way down at 122. But for the bulls, they can definitely argue the fact that we do have a gap still sitting all the way up here at around 265, which I don't think we'll go to, not yet at least. Definitely down the road, way, way down the road, like a year down the road or whatever. I definitely think there's a chance, but I just don't see us going that high at all. Uh, now within the next few months at least. But yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below. And I'll see you on uh, Tuesday, actually. So yeah, peace.